This video will help you to understand the submission process of visualizer components to Kony Public Marketplace or your private marketplace to quickly get you to publish and share components in the marketplace for others to consume. Please refer other videos and documentation to know about the component creation workflow for creating visualizer components. We will learn how to publish visualizer components to Kony Marketplace or private marketplace. We will learn about the different assets and information required for the successful submission of these components. We will also learn about the post submission process that leads to successful display of components in marketplace. The components can be uploaded to the marketplace from library palette in Kony Visualizer Starter or Enterprise Editions. So you need to add the components to your library for submission process. As you can see, I have already opened the visualizer and I have this wonderful rating prompt component created in my current project. This component can be used across multiple use cases. It can be shared with other people via Kony Marketplace. Let's save this component to the user defined library. Now let's open the user defined library palette. You can see the component that was added in the previous step here. Before starting the publish process, we need to be ready with a set of prerequisites for successful upload. Meta information like brief description, unique features, animated GIFs, images and videos about the component are always helpful to make it easily understandable to the consumers. You will have to write up a brief description about the component and a list of features that highlight your component. Please note that the brief description and unique features are the selling points of your component. Be sure that you highlight why and how your component is useful to the consumer. Kuni recommends uploading an animated GIF that shows how the component behaves to give the end user a better feel of any visual features of the component. For example, this rating prompt component has three interaction screens with a bunch of cool animations that is captured in an animated GIF that gives an idea about the component to the end user. In the absence of GIFs, at least an image is recommended, else default image of the respective category will be auto-populated in the marketplace. Images and GIFs must be of 400 by 300 pixel resolution for proper display on the marketplace website. It is also recommended to provide additional images or video for the end user to see on the components detail page. Here we can see the video of the complete screens and interactions along with individual screens screenshots. The recommended resolution of images and videos is 500 by 900 pixels. A component is incomplete without proper documentation that records its functionality, configurability and usage. Hence, Kony also requires users to submit a PDF or link that describes the component and how to use the asset within Visualizer. Now, to publish this component to the Kony Marketplace, right click on the component and select the Publish option. The component is bundled and pushed to the Marketplace. As you can see, the Marketplace integrated view opens up in Visualizer and it shows the asset upload page. Next, you will need to fill in the details that describe your asset. As you can see, asset category, asset title, asset version are auto-populated from the meta information provided by Visualizer. You will also need to enter the brief description of asset as well as a list of any features or code samples that highlight your asset. You will also need to upload the relevant landing page GIFs, images and videos as per the specifications recommended by Kony. Now you have to submit a PDF or link that describes the component and how to use the component within Visualizer. You can also provide external links that add value to the component description. Based on the component structure, you have to select if fabric is also a prerequisite for using the component. It is the responsibility of the component submitter to make his component easily discoverable for the consumer. Kony Marketplace helps us in achieving that by providing a bunch of useful tags and categories. As you can see, we have to select the relevant tags applicable for our asset. Selection of the appropriate applicable platforms and subcategories 
of our asset rounds up the necessary steps to make our component discoverable. Finally, before clicking on the submit button, you can choose between public or private marketplace to push the component for review or approval process. Once the component is submitted successfully, you will see this dashboard screen, else you would be required to fix the issues shown in the submission screen. You will also receive an email from the Kony marketplace acknowledging your component submission. The component is then reviewed by an expert team of Kony marketplace for compliance of Kony terms and conditions. If no issues are found, it is approved to be published in the marketplace for public or private consumption. Post the approval process, you will receive a successful published email notification from Kony Marketplace team like this. As a quick review, in this video, we have learned how to submit a component to the public or private marketplace from Visualizer. We have learned about the requirements for the successful component submission. And also, we got to know the component approval and publish workflow. Finally, don't forget to visit basecamp.coni.com, your one-stop destination to discover more content, discuss Kony products, and network with fellow Kony app developers. Happy coding, happy learning. Thank you.